Lonzo Ball, ZO2, the Chino Hills prodigy. We got breaking news. Lonzo Ball is participating in Media Day. Listen, ZO2 is back. I'm here to report to you right now that Lonzo Ball is 100% healthy, headed into training camp. I think Lonzo Ball fans around the world should be happy. You know, now it's a couple of things that he said we're going to have to break down. But bottom line, Lonzo back on the floor. Listen. I mean, it's no question that this is good for basketball. You know, uh, the NBA was sorely missing Lonzo Ball. I mean, ask the Chicago Bulls were they missing Lonzo Ball. They've been on treadmill ever since. It seemed like they've just been falling apart right before our very eyes. We're going to get into how this affects Chicago. Obviously, he spoke on Josh Giddy. There's so many different things that we're going to break down. This will be the official full breakdown of Lonzo Ball's media day. Listen, make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to Flight Sports TV because when it comes to these Ball brothers, listen, it's that season. You understand? There's something telling me we're going to get something on G3, but I ain't said nothing. This Flight Sports TV. Listen, man, Lonzo Ball, man. He was dealing with setback after setback. I mean, do we really have to get into it as a broken record? You know, uh, Lonzo Ball spoke on the acquisition of Josh Getty. Number one, he said that he is 100% healthy. I think that was the most important thing that we heard, you know, this afternoon or late or maybe this morning, pardon me, for the people that's getting this video. You know, um, number one is this, man. Lonzo Ball is ready to give the Chicago Bulls everything that he has. He is on record of saying that the Bulls was supportive by his side all the way through. And he feels an honor, you know, and um, a responsibility to give his, his everything when he put that jersey on. You understand? Because the Bulls, they sacrificed a lot, man. They could have threw him in the trash. They could have, you know, said, you know what, we moving on. You know, not one second did they do that, even though it maybe it felt like they was. You know, uh, obviously the pickup for Josh Giddy, you know, sent a lot of people kind of, you know, took us a little bit of back. You know, all Lonzo Ball fans kind of had a little side eye there because we was thinking like, wait a minute now, you know, Lonzo wasn't healthy. You know, he had some setbacks. They did not address that position. It was getting Patrick Beverly and a couple of all these other people never really addressing that position. You know, and then the reports are saying Lonzo is 100 percent healthy. Um, and then that, that's when you pull the trigger on Josh Giddy. You know, that's what sent a lot of people, uh, you know, shock. Mind you, Josh Giddy is a poor man's Lonzo ball. Let's just call it all the way 100. If Lonzo was healthy, Josh Giddy, come on, there's no question. You know, um, you know, to be honest with you, uh, before we get into that, he said the pickup for Josh Giddy was an organizational move. They doing what's best for the team. You know, uh, the reporter was trying to, you know, I wouldn't say bait him, but he was asking him, like, do, do you think that this is a, um, something that they moving on from you? Da, 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 da. And he just said he just think that this is what the Bulls are doing was best for them and their team, you know, to win games. You know, they were at their best. You know, when Lonzo Ball was pushing and doing all these things, and they basically got a guy who could, you know, be a poor man's Lonzo Ball. I, I think they honestly got the perfect poor man's Lonzo Ball. You know, but I tell you what, if Lonzo was healthy, now this is going to be the million dollar question. I'm going to tell you, well, listen, we, we can't, we ain't going to sugarcoat nothing because Lonzo not sugarcoating nothing. You understand? Uh, his career was in question, y'all. You know, we uh, in flight sports, we here to break it to you. Lonzo Ball's career was in serious question, you understand, until they was able to figure out what's going on with these injuries and this, that, and the third. You know, they finally figured it out. You know, uh, so it, it's, it's going to be very interesting, you know, to see, you know, what happens, you know, when it comes to uh, Lonzo Ball, you know, coming back this season. Clearly, he said that he's going to be less athletic. You know, that came out of Lonzo Ball's mouth, ladies and gentlemen. So we can't sit up here and, and, and think what we're hoping and what we're wishing on. Lonzo said, don't expect him to be the, as athletic as he was. You understand? What I will tell you was this. Lonzo Ball, uh, basically, in, in so many words, keeping it 100 with you, you know, he kind of was decreasing his athleticism by himself. If you've seen him play the game, clearly facilitate, come on, that's second nature. 
You know, does he have to go down the court 100 miles an hour? No. Can he go 85 and it's still faster than people's 85? Yes. You understand? But um, Lonzo was a catch and shoot guy. You understand? A, a catch and shoot uh, playmaker. You know, that's what he was. You know, uh, what he did for the Bulls and people thought that he was doing that very well. And he often got criticized for what I believe is going to be his strength when he returns. You understand? We get caught up with points and, and averages and things like that. You know, we got to understand something. And I ain't just saying this to be funny. Lonzo Ball's stats, you understand, it doesn't tell the full story to everything that he brings to a basketball team. You know, Lonzo Ball, and the last time we seen him in the 21-22 season, he played 35 games. You know, he averaged 34 minutes. He put up 13 points on 42% shooting from, from two and 42% shoot from three. He shot identical, you understand? Uh, five rebounds, five assists, and a steal. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the numbers went up a little bit, you understand? Because a lot of these numbers came off of catch and shoot. Uh, and now you're going to see Lonzo, I believe, relish in that role. I think it was times where Lonzo... Uh, maybe he, he wasn't feeling it. He was doing it because it was best for the team. He going to do whatever part of me, what, what the team needs to win. We know that with Lonzo. But was that what he wanted to do? And I always, I, that always kind of was a head scratcher for me when it came to Lonzo Ball of, of, of getting to, to what, what's, what does Zoe want? You understand? Because we get so caught up, you know, um, and what he need to do for the team. And this, that, and the third, you know, Lonzo Ball came to the Chicago Bulls to run that offense. You understand? I'm just keeping it 100 with you. You know, um, his his thought process coming here was not to be in another situation that he left in New Orleans, uh, another situation that he left, you know, when he was um, in L.A. You know, he was supposed to come here and run the offense. But clearly, you know, uh, when he got here, guys had MVP, you know, thoughts in mind. You know, it would seem like it was a power struggle going on with uh, DeMar DeRozan and and obviously the situation with Zach Levine. Now you don't have DeMar DeRozan anymore. I believe the floor opens up. Lonzo Ball, when he was asked to score it, you know, he did it. You know, he he upped his – he's upped it. So um, it's going to be interesting. Clearly, they're going to bring Lonzo Ball on slow. Um, I'm, he said they will be in constant communication. This is a, a, a new situation that he's coming from. Nobody has came back from this – um, cartilage transplant situation that Lonzo was dealing with. And he also spoke on being a leader for the next generation who went through this, that he can come back, you know? So, and his aspirations is not just this season or even with the Chicago Bulls. Clearly Lonzo Ball's future, he would not retire a bull. Uh, I do believe that the Bulls may cut ties with Lonzo after this season. They help, heck, they may cut ties with everybody. You know, the Bulls, to me, they re I feel like they're ready to enter this, the Cooper flag sweepstakes. And um, don't be surprised if they move on from Zach. They move on from Lonzo. You got to understand, Lonzo was a part of that Zach, Vooch, DeMar situation. You know, what they doing now with Boo Zillis and White and all that, that's not, that's not what Lonzo came to the Bulls for. So I want in closing, I want you all to know that the Bulls clearly are pivoting from where they all thought they would be at this given moment. But I'm going to leave it at that. This is just an appetizer. Listen, make this your home. Make sure you hit the like button and most definitely hit the subscribe button. You already know what it is. It's Flight Sports TV. We're going to have training camp news, updates, and more. Peace and love. It's Flight Sports. You already know what it is.